Hello everybody and welcome to episode 97 of FM15's Chesterfield of Dreams and today we have a gigantic live com against Diego Simeone's table topping Man City and um, it's been a long time since I last made an episode both in game and uh, you know sort of real time so uh, we'll have a little bit of a chat to uh, recall what I've done and how this live com uh, could determine the fate of our season so the league table is what you want to see first and we are the hardest team to beat so far with just one loss in 11 games and if all goes to plan we could uh, get within two points of Man City and uh, the likes of Man United and Chelsea will be counting on us in this early kickoff. Um, we will want to close in and solidify a top four place as soon as possible you can see it's nice and uh, compact between the top 10 teams then in the relegation zone you've got Everton, Car Cardiff and Queen's Park Rangers but Ipswich, Fulham and Middlesbrough can't really uh, be too confident about their chances either Arsenal and Liverpool have got off to a really slow start but if there's one thing I can uh, say we haven't done so well is that the fact we've drawn five games uh, on top of our five wins only one has been at home so maybe just maybe uh, Man City uh, should be confident of their chances but here are the results uh, ever since the start of the year um, of course the only loss was 2-0 at home to Newcastle but uh, a huge draw against Man United to begin the year um, after beating Hull of course um, we got a one all draw at Old Trafford the first time we've ever taken anything out of the theatre of dreams so that was terrific uh, international break came along rather swiftly and it seemed to have helped the team as we beat Watford Marty Mo, um, drew with Liverpool in the league, lost to them in the uh, Capital One Cup, drew goalless, with, goalless draw with Chelsea, got the win against Malmo, uh, took a 3-2 win out of Cardiff despite all sorts of shenanigans. We took the lead, gave it away, took the lead, gave it away, and then took the lead once and for all. So that was a humongous result. Um, and then Tomas Forza got the job done against Sheffield United just a few miles up the road at Bramall Lane. Uh, top, top victory at home to uh, Feyenoord there, 3-1. A disappointing draw against Arsenal should have been avoided. Uh, you can see why the home form is not so good when you've got a two-goal lead and then you give it all away. And that's just disappointing. Then Matteo Bianchetti, one of my Hall of Famers, came back to bite me with a late goal. Totally undeserved, but that's just the way you need to keep your clean sheets. Um, but we did uh, get the win at De Kuip, um, the home of Feyenoord in Rotterdam, which gave us an easy uh, ticket out of the Europa League group stages. Um, we'll take a quick look there as well. So there you are, Group J, four wins, uh, no defeats, no draws. So we are going through, and it's either Martimo, Feyenoord or Malmo uh, going to be taking second place. And then our most recent game, let's just uh, get into more detail. This is the best result of the season so far. Yairo Mesa, hat-trick. Uh, as well as Ronnie Pino uh, getting a goal in the first minute against the manager I could never beat, which is Stuart Pearce. And um, if Yara Mesa wants to get himself into the 2016 moment of the year, he's going to have to start uh, with a bang this time because he, the one thing I can say he didn't do so well was score in the massive games. Um, but this is his chance. He knows how to beat Man City. He will be captaining the side today. And uh, the citizens are off uh, are running this season as well. If you want to look at their recent form, they've been tanked 4-0 by their local rivals and then took their frustrations out on Newcastle United. So which uh, sky blue outfit will show up today? They've been irresistible in uh, August and September under the leadership of the Argentinian. But um, they do have to look over their shoulders with uh, the Europa League as well as Chelsea. So um, here's a look at my starting 11. It's pretty much unchanged, but sadly that international break has affected the fitness of some of my players. Um, so Shanahan takes over from Brian Lenehan. Um, Stephen Kinsler takes Godwin Azuka's place, which is a shame since Azuka's doing so well. But he's tired, as tired can be. And that's about it, really. Um, the bench is a little rotated as well. We have to keep the strikers, Meyer and Forza, happy. They want more football. And with Mesa banging in hat-tricks and all that, it's not going to be easy for them. So uh, well, let's head into the uh, match screen and see how Man City line up. And uh, these are the lineups. You've seen mine already. Uh, pretty much as good as I can get it. With the likes of Inform, Watson, Mesa 
and Frank Reeves who has been capped for England the uh, number four there he's uh, been in fantastic uh, form all season as for Man City they've got Carlos Navarra Depay uh, Memphis as he wants to be called and Pusneri uh, in attack then they've Callum Chambers and a few of their uh, best regens as well on the bench they've got Rafinha John Stones uh, Sedla Czech and so on and so forth so very very strong team but how fit are they uh, let's just take a look so Carlos in good condition uh, Navarra okay Pusneri okay and Depay not so good um, and then these guys seem to be in good nick as well so it's going to be a really really tough game we've no discernible advantage um, and we'll just have to go hard on them to make up for it I think uh, but if we play like we did against Ipswich um, how did we do it? We had the uh, be more expressive and roam from positions. Uh, we'll take that gamble early on, and then we might want to run at the defence as well. Leave lots of space on the wings if we can get rid of their uh, two defensive mids. Um, and then uh, in the preview here, you can see Man City are uh, touted to win. And then my absent player is Linus Muller, who is actually going to Manchester United in a similar vein to Jakob Rinne. So there's something about Man United and reserve goalkeepers that don't have any to spare. So uh, I get 1.5 million as a uh, you know boost for selling him on. And uh, now let's uh, get straight into the live com. We need to get revenge on Man City. They have a good run of games against us now. And uh, if we want to win the league or return to the Champions League, these are the games you want to give your best effort in. So nice, raucous crowd are. Uh, ready for some football i hope you are too this is kickoff and it's, it is the away team to begin with memphis giving the ball to uh, carlos and pushneri on the other wing but luckily frank Rees was uh, touched tight to his uh, striking uh, nemesis and uh, of course those uh, tired center backs and right back will uh, probably cause a little bit of bother but um come on let's show some passion please i'd appreciate that from you guys um, not much going on so we need to change our uh, approach a little bit so we might float the crosses in we'll get rid of that and then we'll go more direct uh, we have, have we been passing well we have definitely but we need to get more shots on goal so fluidize the play and uh, get something going here I know it's not easy but we need to get you know get believing Carlos finds Pushneri in space ah oh, that should have been a goal oh. Raja Buen on his line with a fantastic double save and now Kubat is feeling the strain um, he's able to continue according to my assistant manager but um, Yaramesa not getting involved uh, too sharply there I need him to uh, you know, get into this game immediately um, there's Memphis Navarra back to Memphis but Raja Buen saves I think we need to go counter and get Mesa into a deeper uh, part of the pitch he needs to go um, deep lying I think uh, we're not getting him at all in the match and then Ashley Watson who should be providing some feedback he needs to be attacking midfielder support so we'll go a little more conservative try and get some shots on goal Ashley Watson to take a free kick but the keeper was equal to it maybe even above the standard that was given here's Ashley Watson though poor pass to Mayo but Frank Reeves collects it's a rather damp afternoon here in Chesterfield. Mayo to Yaramesa. Watson, Pino, Kinsella hits Mesa square in the noggin. And that's offside. I have to say now, demand more. I know it's frustrating, but please, guys, we need to get this result. Maybe a draw is not so bad for once, but it would do so much for our belief if we could win for only the second time at all season at home. And last week, Mesa was burying those for fun, but Beresford is able to uh, parry it away for a save this time around. Here's Mesa getting into the box, and again, those chances were easy peasy for him just uh, 14 days ago or 13 days ago. However, it's not such a good game this time around, so I have to say I'm not happy. Um, again, it's harsh on a team that's not conceding goals but we needed we really really do need to get our uh, act together and um, make sure we deliver these results so a few extra adjustments to my instructions and now we can kick off for the second half 
of this uh, huge live count. Um, have they made any changes at all? Well, they have injured players, so we might go um, a little less harsh on those injured players. Don't want them. Uh, well, actually, he's not getting dealt with at all, so we might get on that. Uh, Berlin defender, defensive midfielder. Here's actually Watson's set piece. I have a funny feeling about that, but it was actually headed over the bar. Um, get creative is a good idea. Alexis Blin has been substituted, so it won't matter about him too much. Memphis versus Mayo. He finds Carlos um, from a pass. Um, I, who was it who got it? It was Navarra who was given the ball initially, so I uh, can't really keep up with the play. Mess has been terrible, so my only, um, my only option is to get rid of him. He's just not been good today, and we'll give Tomas Forza a go. And uh, Stephen Kinsler needs to be preserved for a future occasion, so we'll play the other striker, Philip Meyer, in, here, in the left of midfield. So he'll go inside forward. And then we'll leave it for now, but we might uh, take off Kubat for Dial Fry in the closing stages. It'll be horrible for the Czech uh, to be injured for any period of time, but if we can reduce the damage, that'll be great. So we need to take some gambles now. Mensa have been very good. Just haven't delivered the crushing blow. But here's Carlos to Alves. Goes short to Saharari. Navarra. Carlos back to goal. Memphis versus Carlson. And that's dependable tackling from my Danish left back. And now Ronnie Pino intercepts. It gives Meyer a chance to break free. Tomas Forza. Good tackle. It could have been the opportunity to break. And maybe even, maybe even score. But it's not to be. Here's Navarra for Man City. Manchester uh, City really want to get a good opportunity going here and that's Navarra, easy as you like, it's a very good goal, his 11th of the season and now that means we have to push forward, we cannot lose at home again, that will be horrific and that gives City 8 points, uh, you know, that gives them an 8 point lead over ourselves and it will increase their advantage so uh, I think we'll put uh, Pino at centre back now. Um, he can be a ball playing defender on defend, and we'll play Brian Boring for Kubat. We really, really need to get something going. I'm tired of losing these critical games that could, you know, change our club's fortunes forever. So now it's time for overload. We haven't been good enough for whatever reason. Um, we just have to go for the jugular. Poor pass. Sakurari interception. Robinson takes uh, a lame touch, but he gets the ball back now. Uh, Navarra, Sedlet, Sedlacek, and Pushneri could have won the game. Uh, hook, line, and sinker, but he failed to convert. It didn't even hit the target. Come on, come on, lads. May, may go back to the short play. That's wide. How is our passing doing? Not so good now, but not any worse than Man City. Here's Forza. He's got to break forward. Meyer inside. He cuts. Tackle. Watson. Mayo. Mayo. Oh, he was onside and he failed to do anything useful there. Hard luck. But I needed to see a goal there from the young Englishman. And Lapa puts it in with his left peg and that's crushing. Navarra open goal again for him and that's so harsh a big big defeat here this afternoon and now any hopes we had of winning the title are probably lost that's very very disappointing um, Manchester City obviously did the better job of taking care of their players during the international break as well as out uh, muscling me tactically so just so annoying that I just cannot win these games when we need to. We've beaten the teams when it didn't matter so much, but we've been outclassed completely today. But I do, I do feel losing 2-0 was harsh. 1-0 would have been fair enough, but that's just the way it's gone. And the man of the match, definitely Navarra, who's torn things uh, you know, apart, really. He hasn't had as much play time as you'd like, but he's been absolutely brilliant and uh, we'll just have to leave the match and lick our wounds in time for a rubber match in the Europa League 
we'll simulate those results now and then in the uh, in the, in the uh, episode Navarra has actually just been injured whereas Kubat is not so a little bit of fortune there but um, let's just simulate these games and uh, get on with life I suppose um, again I'll be reminding you one last time please 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 if you haven't already vote in the moment of the year 2015 video uh, it's my own fault for not really being able to market it properly but uh, everybody's welcome to vote if you haven't done so already but the people who have voted and you are watching this video big thumbs up to you guys you've been fantastic supporters of the channel so uh, those results are in nothing too useful for us apart from Man United uh, breaking further away and Watford take over fourth position that's really interesting um, but yeah as you can see we need to start the home form uh, the Pro Act used to be a fortress but now something's gone horribly horribly wrong and that's just not good enough uh, whereas we have the best away record in the entire league uh, matched only really by Watford so we must improve the home record and on what has happened so uh, one more result to simulate we'll get that done immediately it's 4-1 Chelsea so that's a nightmare uh, weekend for us so far all of our opponents have won and um, our big big player failed to show up today so maybe I wasted him I don't know but until next time thank you very much for watching and I hope to get to episode 100 of the series as soon as possible but until next time goodbye for now